What's going on guys? Um, this is just going to be a quick video on how to um, how to submit a request on uh, on True Charts. We're going to do a few things before we get to that because maybe you won't have to. The very first thing that we're going to do is refresh all to make sure that we're actually getting the latest pull of all of these uh, containers, applications, whatever. Uh, because sometimes that could be the issue. They could have already solved the problem and you just are not pulling the latest version. So just go ahead and click on that. I'm not going to do it right now because it takes like a long time. Uh, but for right now, we'll just go ahead and create a quick problem for ourselves. So I already know that I'm uh, pulling the latest version. I put a capital Y in there. You're not allowed to have capitals in any of your naming schemes. So come down here, click submit. Boom, there's our error. The very first thing that we're going to do is open up the True Charts catalog. And then, um, well, obviously you're gonna you're gonna look at what this says. This is a pretty easy one to say. Chart release name does not match. Blah blah blah. And it's basically there's no capitalizations anywhere listed in here, meaning that you can't have one. But anyway, if it was more of a a weirder issue or something like that, we would we would first check announcements, and then make sure this hasn't already been addressed or something like that. As you can see, instability warning right here. There could be something going on that is already uh, known, and they're going to be having instability issues for maybe a couple days. This one literally only lasted like three days. So just make sure that you check that. Next, you'll come down to support, and then check on the uh, the pinned messages. Sometimes there'll be something relevant here that was just pinned recently or something like that um, but not all the time obviously and then after you do that um, we'll go ahead and scroll up on on the uh, support channel and make sure that there's nothing related to our issue anywhere here because you most likely are not the very first person to have this problem but sometimes it does just go that way so just make sure there's not another thread and then the verify there's not another thread we're actually going to search for our issue so we'll look up our issue was uh, let's see what it said error to release does not match I guess you basically look for like keywords like that so does not match maybe um, and then just basically scroll the output Obviously, look for other uh, keywords and stuff like that, stuff that wouldn't just be like uh, too obvious. Like if you typed in name or something like that, you're going to get 10 billion responses. So make sure, yeah, we got 630 or 536, a little bit dyslexic. But anyway, so just make sure that you're actually searching everything uh, before because they do require that you do at least a little bit of research because obviously they do not want a bunch of like repeats and stuff like that. And then after you do that, if you don't find your issue anywhere on Discord, you're like, I just can't figure this out. I don't know what the heck's going on. You're going to go ahead and create a thread. But the uh, first, before we go ahead and create a thread, we're going to do some data collection. And the way that you do that is you see our, our error here. You can either copy and paste this. Uh, and states that hey this is what the error output was make sure that you're actually labeling these because if you just post this here sometimes it's as if you just post this in the in the uh, supports thread sometimes it's hard to see like what exactly you were posting so obviously we would just create a new snip and then snip this and then we would also so close out of that go down to confirm options if this Occurred when you were trying to launch an application just go down to confirm options and then you can go ahead and copy and paste all this or what I prefer to do is I just snip all this too because it just makes it so much easier to read uh, for the most part and then people know exactly what you put in but let's say the container did successfully um, pass through and it installed on your system but maybe it didn't actually spin up and it says uh, zero out of three active or one out of three active or two out of three active or something like that 
the next step that you're going to take is you're going to click on the container just on the card wait for this to load this is all pretty slow for some reason um, and then you'll check application events this is also going to be something that you're going to be screenshotting as well so screenshot this or copy and paste it but make sure if you copy and paste it, it actually looks good and it just doesn't look like a bunch of jumbled words and stuff like that there is a correct way to uh, copy and paste um, code within discord okay and then um, you'll also want to click on logs And then you'll see that we have two different pods to select from. So make sure you're clicking on these drop downs and making sure that uh, see how you uh, if you change the pod, the container changes. So just make sure that you're getting all the pods and containers. You don't have the if something says successfully successfully launched blah blah blah. Obviously you don't have to screenshot that. You know use common sense with that one. It is still good to add if you're like I don't even know what the heck this thing says then it's good to just add it anyway. It doesn't really do any harm. And then for this, you can copy and paste this as well, but I would make sure that you get the application name and stuff like that up here, because sometimes if you just copy and paste this, I don't, like, what you know, what is this? A lot of the times it's like, where did this even come from? I don't know what you're copying and pasting. Where did this, like, where did these logs come from? It's, it's hard to understand, so sometimes you have to actually get this, the title up here, or, again, snipping tool. Snip it. That makes it super easy. We know what the application name is, uh, what pod you're in, and the container. And then you saw how there was two different containers and uh, pods. Make sure that you go to the other one. You go ahead and click reconnect up here. And then go to the other pod. And then you can check these logs too. And then copy and paste or... Uh, snip those as well Okay, and then after you have all of your uh, documentation You're just going to have to Create a thread and the way that you do that is right here. We're just simply going to type J downloader and then you're going to copy and paste uh, that error message that you got or say name error or doesn't launch or just just a brief description of, uh, of your problem after the application name okay I'm just going to delete that later uh, but you'll go ahead and click on create thread right here if you're on a phone you basically just hold your thumb over the text that you made and then there'll be an option to create a thread as well but you create a thread new thread downloader won't launch and then you create the thread i'm going to delete all this later click on the plus sign i'm not going to click on this just because i don't know what recent files are on here um but you're basically just going to click on the plus sign and then for each file that you have like uh, for example, your error file, uh, you'll say error file and then post the file, uh, the picture that you have or the text or whatever. And then for the container, do the same thing. Just make it super easy for everyone to be able to see exactly what's going on so then they can go ahead and fix their issue as easy as possible. And then that's pretty much it. Just wait until someone uh, helps you out.